Hi everyone, here's a quick video for part two on the Pixlate assignment. And this, for this assignment, we're gonna be using a website called Pixlr, which the link is right here in Google Classroom. Click on that and it'll take us to the Pixlr E, which is the Pixlr editor, which is a little bit more advanced than the Pixlr X. Make sure you are on the Pixlr E version right here, not Pixlr X. All right, so first let's go ahead and bring our image in. So I'm going to open an image. I already have some images saved to my Google Drive that I'd like to use. You should do that first. And uh, I have these right here in my downloads for easy upload, quick and fast. I'm going to go ahead and click on this wolf and open it and bring it on in. All right, so the first thing I'd like to show you is where to find the where to find the pixelate filter. It's up here at the top under filters and I'm going to click on filter and come down here to pixelate. And this pixelate slider comes in and we are able to just slide it and adjust um, and pixelate an image. Now uh, the larger it is the more and more it starts to look more like a, a pixelated Minecraft type image. Now if you do this immediately if you pixelate it right from the start it's going to pixelate the whole image which we don't want to do right now so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel that. What we're going to do is make a copy of this layer first so we can cut um, or mask part of it and only pixelate a portion of this image. Now the way I'm going to do this is by creating a copy or a duplicate of this layer. Now there's a couple ways to do this. A lot of options which are really helpful and useful are always under the three dots. Three dots is kind of a new universal setting for settings when you're working with some type of software. So let's click on the dots and this is the delete layer um, button right here. It looks like two sheets of paper. And another one useful one is this uh, trash can if you ever want to get rid of a layer. Now you can duplicate a layer there or just come up here right up to the top. It should be on duplicate also. And what this is going to do is it now makes a copy of it. Here's the original image and then there's a copy. As you can see they are exactly the same. Now the visibility is just this little check mark. Some programs will use an eyeball instead but this is to make it visible or invisible you uncheck that this little box right here select that. Now as you can see I'm going to turn this layer on and off and this layer is on and off also. So let's turn this one on just for the sake of this video and because we'll be working on this top image. And the way we're going to make the selection for what we want to pixelate is by using the, the cutout tool or the mask tool. And I'm going to click on the scissors and when you click on when you select this cutout or the mask or the scissor tool we're going to be just doing a shape and the mode should be add to mask and what we're going to do is we're just going to click and drag and make a selection and it'll cut out just that portion all right everything else is kind of hidden from behind and but again this is only we didn't crop the whole image we only did this top layer now this top layer is we now can go back to filter and go to pixelate and we can pixelate just this top part and pixelate this portion of it. Let's go ahead and click apply and just to show you that we still have the rest of the image I'm going to come back to the background and turn the rest of the image on. So as you can see we have the background is still there and we only pixelated the portion of it. Now as you can see that this is a separate layers so I'm going to come up here to the arrange or the move tool. Uh, the shortcut is V and I can move this portion of it. I'm going to go control Z to move it back. All right. So for this portion of this video, well, actually let's go ahead. I'm going to make this one invisible. I'm going to do this one more time. Um, if you want to, we could probably click on this and rename this. I could say I could rename this, um, rename it face pixelate. If you want, I'll keep my, keep my layers organized here. I'm going to, again, I'm going to click on the background. I'm going to duplicate this layer, duplicate. So here's my next copy. I still have my background. I have the copy and I'm going to, let's turn this one off. On the next copy, I'm going to, let's click on the three dots. I'm going to, and I'm going to call this left side, left side pixelate. So just to keep my layers organized, left side pixelate. I'm going to come to the cutout or the mask with the scissors. And I'm going to select just this left hand side of this wolf here. And once you have that selected or masked, I'm going to come up to my filters. 
come down to pixelate and let's just pixelate this half of it and you can see kind of how we'll have a cool effect where half will be pixelated and the other half will be normal now to turn this in i do want you to turn in a screenshot of this because i do want to see your um, the original layer and the mask or the cutout layer that you did pixelate okay so please turn this in as a screenshot and please let me know if you have any questions in the assignment in Google Classroom, it does say, again, how to name these files before turning them. It'll be in your initials, underscore, pixelate5678 for part two of this assignment. All right, good luck. Have fun with this.